Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Ray A AX3200 Wi-Fi 6 Mesh Router. It can deliver up to 3200 megabits per second. It can cover an area of up to 3000 square feet. It can connect up to 110 devices. It has eight antennas built in and it includes even some parental control. So we have pretty much everything what we need. So I'm going to take it out of the box, show you what to get and then how to set it up and use it. So I want to show you what's in the box here. So here we have some accessories and then that's the main device. Comes also with a quick installation and instructions. Manual is everything really nice and the router itself is nicely protected. So here in the back we see the different ports. We have a reset, we have the power supply, we have the connection to the original internet router. Then we have three LAN ports here which we can use for our own devices. Really nice, awesome, beautiful. As you can see it comes also with this soft rubber feet so it has a very safe stand and what i love here is that we don't see this external antenna so it's a really beautiful device some similar devices have some external antennas which definitely don't look stylish so that's much better here and here we have the accessories so here's the power supply we can see it works worldwide so we can use it for 110 to 240 volts and here we get an ethernet cable which you can use as a connection here to the internet router so what i'm going to do here is to connect or set it up as an additional wi-fi hotspot or wi-fi router I'm not going to replace the internet access route because I don't want to deal with some troubles with the internet service provider. So I'm just adding this as an additional Wi-Fi router after or like behind the original internet router. We have two different options how to connect. We can connect it through the app or we can connect it with the browser. It's somewhere here but I'm going with the app. So I'm scanning the QR code here. Let's see where this leads us. So it looks like they have their official app. Let's click on Google Play and so we have it here. I click on install and in the meantime I'm connecting it here let's see if we can already configure yeah, we get a blue light blinking flashing blue light now steady blinking again so let's open see if it can connect i don't have it connected to the internet i just want to prepare it here and then just switch it out with the old wi-fi router so when we click on the router we have to add an email and password or like sign up looks we really have to add an account yeah, after setting up the account I got an email I had to confirm and now it looks like I have 29 days left on the cloud app here in the cloud settings. I think we can still use the browser all the time but if you want to use the app then you have to pay the subscription that's a little bit sad here. But of course with most of the routers we are using the browser anyway it's nicely described here in the instructions so I'm going to add the router here and so this is exactly what i want to do i don't want to connect it directly to the internet i just want to add this to an existing router so i'm clicking on this one here we have to give authorization then we have to connect to the wi-fi which is called at rxxx something like that click on wi-fi list let's see I mean we have in the meantime this yellow or orange uh, light yeah we have this here let's click on connect of course it doesn't have any data but it's okay if it asks just say yeah we want to stay there and now it brings us also to this site here which we can use probably also without the app 192 168 110.1 so click on auto upgrade configure so it really looks like now we have to attach the wire and connect it to the existing router which has the internet access okay so i connect this here so let's see recheck 
Okay, looks like it's successful. You have gained access to the internet account is no required. Click on next. Then we can set it up as a dual band single SSID. This is what I love. A lot of devices are supporting that, especially if you have a lot of cameras. A lot of cameras are still using 2.4G, of course, because it has a longer wireless reach. So you don't have to deal with different uh, SSIDs. That's awesome. So I activate that. And what's super important and really nice here is that we can change the SSID. So in case we want to replace an old Wi-Fi, which is maybe not so good as this super powerful thing here, then we can use the same or apply here the same SSID, which you had already in your home. And then usually all the devices which have already connection with the old router will automatically reconnect to this router. I've seen this already many, many times before. So usually this works for, I would say, 99% of the uh, devices. Doesn't work for everything, but usually like for cameras, doorbell uh, things and so on. It will usually just reconnect with the same SSID and same password and so this is exactly what i did here i applied an existing ssid and i'm adding the same password here we can also choose if you want to activate wi-fi 6 which is of course highly suggested to have better performance we can also assign the management password as the same as the Wi-Fi password and so i click on override and what we see here in the meantime uh, it goes back to steady blue. I guess that's the indication that everything is okay. By the way, the LED light is not just an indication what's going on in this device. This button is also the button we can use to connect uh, the master with the depending Wi-Fi router. If you want to build a mesh network, when we buy a couple of these devices, we can just press here on the master and then it will try to connect for two minutes to connect with the depending Wi-Fi routers. I'm not sure if we can also press this button to connect devices then to the depending Wi-Fi routers or to the main device if we just have one to connect the device is super easy with WPS. By the way, we can also set up a guest Wi-Fi easily from the main menu. And so I've set up this router fully connected to the internet router and everything worked really right straight out of the box. Absolutely no problem. We haven't uh, faced any obstacles or so really easy to set up and use. By the way, I'm back here on my Windows PC connected to this route but i'm offline i'm not connected to the internet i just wanted to show you the overview here you can see it's disconnected from the internet so the menu is absolutely awesome I've also been checking this menu with my son, who is a professional PC supporter, and he also liked it a lot compared to all the other menus which we have on our other routers. It has much more information, really nice information. Also that you can see a lot already directly from the main screen. Then you have a lot of different screens. Of course, I can't show you everything because there are some private things. So we have the home screen, we have the clients, we have the internet, we have Wi-Fi, we have so many things. And we have even this more where we have a lot. You can see on the left side, we have everything which we can adjust or like check all the information like blacklist, whitelist, some security advanced, really a lot of advanced settings. Here we have even a hardware acceleration. I haven't tried this and a lot of diagnosis, network checks and so on and system information. And so of course we have also been checking the network coverage and network speed and it has been awesome. I'm here working on a one gigabit internet and when we tested the speed with the speed test app, we have been reaching really high numbers and we have tested this with many different devices. So this is not just like by chance or so. The numbers have been for almost all the devices around 100 megabits higher 
than with the Eero 6 Pro. And we all know how highly respected the Eero 6 Pro is. So even faster than that with even better network coverage. And if this is not enough, we can even add some more of these devices to cover larger area with a, like a mesh network. This is absolutely awesome. So everything is working really great. We haven't found any major disadvantages or so. Maybe the only thing that you have to be aware of that there is no hook here. So it could be a little bit difficult to like uh, mount it on a wall. Like if you want to mount it very high on a wall to have even better network coverage. So this device is more intended to have it like a just standing on a desk or so. But of course you could construct something to uh, mount it even higher, but it has already really good network coverage already just like on, on top of normal desk or so. So from my side, full recommendation. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.